Hi guys and welcome to my hands on and first impressions video of the whole new Sony Xperia Z5 series. So the Z5 Compact, the Z5 and the Z5 Premium. I want to make a few things clear before I'm actually going to start to talk about it because this is just a first impressions video, not a full review. There will be a full review of the Z5 Compact, the Z5 and the Z5 Premium along with a comparison with the Z3 against the Z5. Maybe some of the people think about upgrading to the Z5 from the Z3, thinking or f wanting to know if it's worth it or if maybe not and save some money just to go for the Z3 if you don't have any of them yet. And all that. And I wanna also make a little bit of a few things to point out what I think so far of the Z5 Lear, but this is just a first impressions video. So a lot of things could change once I actually get to know the devices more because I've used all of them for about one or two hours so far. And many of my observations after like a few days just are different than they are now. So don't think as this of a full review. A lot of things could change and these are just the initials the initial impressions I have so far. So let's just start with the Z5 Compact. As you can see, it is compact. That's obvious, but it's very quite actually, <coughs> sorry, on the thicker side. And it feels a little bit bulky and boxy. And the in-hand feel of the whole new Z5 series isn't as well as it was on the Z3 series, because as you can see here, they made a huge change in terms of the curve. The curve is a lot flatter. And most noticeably here on the Z5 against the Z3, you will notice this curve makes the Z5 feel a lot bigger in the hand. It feels a lot wider because as you can see, if I hold it, I can't even reach the upper end, which I can quite comfortably on the Z3. So in terms of design, I am a little bit disappointed that they went for the flatter style. It is easier to hold on, more grippy also because of the back, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. And one thing I also noticed is, as you can see here on the Z3, the Z3, the last point, the thickest point is the glass already. And then you feel the device. This goes for both sides. So if you lay it flat, you, f you kinda see it glide. But on the Z5 series, there is a tiny little border and I'm not even quite sure if it will pick, be picked up by the camera. There is a tiny little border. So the highest point is the metal rim on both sides and you will actually hear this. And this is a little bit odd because you also feel it because if you did some movement here on the sides on the Z3, you only felt glass. But here you always feel this metal border. And that is something I will have to maybe get used to it. So let's get back to the Z5 Compact. As we can see the buttons, the fingerprint scanner lies in a nice position and works out quite good. You have to hold that just a little bit longer because if you just press and go, it's not enough. But as you can see, it's a really fast scanner. So if you just press and hold on for a little bit longer, it works. And so far, I didn't have any mishits. Works completely fine for me. Of course, the one big thing is the volume rock. I'm not quite sure what they thought of it. Putting it so much down, if they would have put it on the opposing side, on the upper side, it would have been a lot better in my opinion. But yeah, not the end of the world. But what I also noticed, and this is a little bit odd, if you maybe hear now the power button on the Z5 Compact, so it's a little subtle dampened click. Same goes for the Z5 Comp uh, Premium. A subtle silent click. And now the Z5. Why does the Z5 have to click? Because this click sounds very cheap. And that's the same here for the volume rock on all three of them. That sounds a little bit too cheap for a premium device because the old one as you can see it didn't even click at all from a sound standpoint but you get a great haptic feedback so design i think they went a step backwards because it feels a little bit cheaper actually and this is something where i'm just not that happy also the buttons the power buttons are fine i'm just not the biggest fan of the click of the z5 the rest Feel in hand is great, it feels substantial, feels nice, but it just doesn't feel as ergonomic as the old one did. Same goes for the Z5, it feels bigger. And if you go and talk about the design and build quality of the premium, as you can see, it will pick up fingerprints, which I'm not a huge opposing fan of. I don't have a problem with it. On the front, I think it's a, it's an issue if it's an issue, but it's okay. But the Z5 premium feels huge it feels incredibly humongous huge in the hand because of the curves i guess and 
of course being a 5.5 inch but it feels like the biggest 5.5 inch i've used so far it feels very oddly to hold on into the hand and this is something where it's already a deal breaker for me because it's way too heavy and way too big for a 5.5 inch to make up for it and now design everything is fine and all good but let's talk about the display now 720 what is that okay sorry 720p here totally fine screen not much to talk about it's a really really nice 720p screen now z5 a really really nice 1080p screen we can make it a little bit brighter no problems here at all it looks like it's a lot nicer calibrated in comparison to the z3 which will look way too cold this one is calibrated a lot better but if we go to the z5 premium and if you wouldn't have told me it's a 4k display i would have never ever thought about it because it's not particularly more sharp in any way i would even say if you are in the normal ui mode where it only renders in 1080p it even looks less sharp than some of the native 1080p screens I've seen. And overall, it's not impressive. Colors are really nice, natural, fine blacks and all that. But it's absolutely nothing special. It's a really, really nice screen, but pff, a really, really nice QHD still actually offers a better experience. So not quite sure. Definitely not worth the hype. Sound. For some reason, I tried all three of them. The Z4, uh, Z5 Compact seems to be, for some reason, by far the loudest one. The Z5 and the Z5 Premium are pretty much about on the same level of maximum volume, which in all cases besides the Z5 Compact is not good enough. They feel quite weak, quite low in terms of overall maximum volume, but they still feel sound better than the Z3 after the Lollipop update, which is pretty much garbage now. In terms of sound, I'm not sure, maybe it's mine, but my sound is very, very bad. This one is okay, but it's just not loud enough, and I will show this off in the full review. In terms of performance so far, I'm very, very happy. It is very smooth, pretty much little to no lag, as you can see. And all the apps that I tried work very much great. Games as well, absolutely no problem. But what I also noticed, for example, I just got the HTC A9. And that one, especially for example in the in this app here or in some other apps, is actually smoother because the refresh rates of the IPS screen doesn't see don't seem that really super high, and there is some little bit of motion blur. Now the rest I can't say anything about the batteries yet. The software is very solid because Sony makes a really nice UI. I have no complaints about that. And the camera is something that I will have to see. Okay, let's quickly check the design of the Z5 once again, because I didn't get too much into it. I really like the frosted glass. This is great because I still think the pure glass is a little bit grippy on the Z3, but this one feels very smooth and very nice in the hand. So that is nice and it will look a lot cleaner. So I'm totally fine with that. Also, the sides are much more grippier than they were on the Z3, but more about that in the comparison against the Z3 and the Z5 Premium. Yeah, it's very grippy, for especially for me. I have with glass pure sides or what I have like here, never ever a problem with the grippiness. But as you can see, this looks extremely bad. <laughs> so it's big, but it's grippy. It looks definitely nice and it feels a lot more premium. I have to actually say the Z5 Premium feels a lot more premium, especially in terms of the glass, actually. I'm not quite sure if they made a difference here, but that's a real, real, real first impressions video. I've used them not long. I gotta say that. And like I said, a lot of things could change. And like I said, not a review. My opinion could change. Reviews will be up in within two weeks. I have to make it quite quick quite quick because I only have two weeks for all three of them but it should be fine enough I will give you a full report then with everything battery performance camera and all that along with the comparison against the Z3 because that one is actually a really interesting one because I still use the Z5 uh, the Z3 as my daily driver and I don't think anyone will or maybe some of them will even call me a, a Sony hater because I did complain quite a lot but since i use this for one and a half years as my daily driver i don't think i have a bias against sony but i definitely won't give them any favors i won't make maybe i will make it even harder for them to impress me because i was so impressed with the z3 and the z5 has to step in quite some big foots here to actually improve on my opinion but so far i still like them despite all the complaints please don't get me wrong these are complaints on a high level 
of course. And I like the performance. The sound is okay. I'm not. I would wish for more maximum volume. Camera, I'm pretty sure it's nice. The displays are nice and the feel in hand is quite premium, even though just not really that compact that I would wish for. But overall, first impressions so far are very nice, but I am a little bit disappointed in a few smaller things, which though could equalize itself and get down to something that I don't care as much after a few days. So keep out for the reviews. There will be in the info card. So just be sure if you watch this video, for let's say 10 or 15, 14 days after it is being released here, is there if there is an info card for the review, because then everything already could be different. Okay, that's it for my quite long first impressions of the Z5 family. Watch out for more content of this, and if you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, which I think a few people will do, because I didn't talk good enough about Sony, but that's to be expected. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Anything else in the comments. Okay, until next time, bye.